Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels, and of course, the bezel haters. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs, and this is an unboxing and first look at what I think to be the most interesting phone of 2014. It's the Sharp Aquos Crystal, and it's 150 bucks off contract. Okay, I'm going to get blasted for saying this, I know, but I think this is the most innovative phone of 2014. And not because the specs are great, because the specs aren't even flagship like last year. These are two year old specs. You have a 1.2 gigahertz quad core processor, a gig and a half of RAM, an eight megapixel rear facing camera. You do have LTE, which is nice, but it's nothing special spec wise. There are two innovative features, however, that blow my mind and make me think that this phone just in its in a, not because it's going to be in a successful phone at all, because this is $150 off contract. It's a prepaid phone. It's a burner phone. But I think it's going to set a precedent in the future for smartphone innovation. Now, when we pull this box open, which, by the way, is so freaking hard. I hate those tabs. I see people do them perfectly on video, and it makes me so jealous because I never can do this well. I even messed up on my Mac Pro, and people made fun of me of it because it's supposedly super easy to undo. Anyway, I'll get over it. I hate those things. You get the phone itself, you get a USB charger, and you get a USB uh, cable. You know, nothing special, pretty much the includes of every smartphone. One thing that is funny is Sprint includes a recycling pouch to send it back to them with all their prepaid phones, which is good, but this is not one that I think you're going to be burning and, and you know, returning soon, unless you're a pretty classy drug lord, in which case you will want to keep that pouch. Now, when we pull off this screen protector, you'll see that it's pretty beautiful. That bottom bezel looks a little thick, but it's actually smaller than the iPhone 6 Plus bezel. And the phone itself is not as thick as it looks. It is a little bit thicker. I'd compare it to the Moto G, but considering there's no bezel, it's pretty excusable that it's a little bit thicker than the other phones on the market. On the back, it looks pretty ugly. I'll get it. You have an eight megapixel camera, uh, flash, you have the Harman Kardon speaker, and you have what looks like a Samsung Galaxy 5 Band-Aid rear facing shell. You have your volume rockers and that's pretty much it. Now the front is where it gets cool. That is the front facing camera and that's the proximity sensor. Now you might be asking, well, where's the headset? There is none, zero. This display, it uses vibration technology and the whole display vibrates against your ear to emulate sound. So when you're on a phone call, you can stick your ear anywhere on the front of the display and you'll hear perfectly, even in loud crowds. It's freaking amazing and it's incredibly innovative. The second innovation is the fact that there is literally no border. This is a borderless display. It looks beautiful. Some people don't love the look, but I think it's fantastic. It gives it kind of an edgeless, sexy, really modern kind of feel. And I think it's excusable that the front of the display down on the bottom is a little bit unsightly because when you're holding this phone, it looks even more amazing than it does on video. It is surreal. Like I held it for the first time and it blew my mind. Now the phone itself is still pretty snappy. I mean, specs, once again, I, I mentioned are not you know, flagship specs for 2014, but the phone itself is, is quite good. It loads web pages just fine. This video you'll see starts instantaneously. There's no lag, no delay at all. It's already uh, streaming in 720p. Uh, it, it looks fantastic. Now the display itself is quite saturated. You can see a little bit of pixelation because it is 720p but it is pretty phenomenal. You can see there's a little bit of a border on the top and the bottom. That's because of the aspect video uh, ratio of the video, not because of the display itself. On the left, you can see that it goes all the way to the edge of the display. And when I click the home button right now, you're gonna see that the whole display fills up. It is a beautiful, beautiful phone. Now the menu system is really, really vanilla Android, which I love. It's not heavily stocked. What's incredible to me is for $150, you get a phone that's off contract. There's not a single Sprint logo on the device and there's no bloatware apps, zero, none. It comes installed with the swipe keyboard and it really, really looks great. Now the camera is where I think this phone really looks freaking amazing. You are able to see exactly how the camera or how the shot will come out because the whole display is used. Thus, you can see exactly the same aspect ratio. It does take photos in a 16 by nine ratio, although you can change that. Um, it's pretty, pretty phenomenal. I, I just love the look of the camera when you use it because it's a, a really a surreal, like edgeless kind of sensation. The camera itself is not that great, but it holds its ground against other you know, phones out on the market it's significantly better than the HTC One M8, which is a $300 phone on contract. Now, I hope you like my legs, by the way. This phone is, once again, not the, the greatest smartphone you know, in terms of specs, but I think it has some real innovation, including the display and, of course, the vibration technology in the headset. I'm Quinn of Snazzy Labs. I'll be showing you more about this phone in the coming days. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment, like if you did, in fact, like this video. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.